I think that um, pianos are all worth restoring for their intrinsic value. They've become kind of like, you know, this antique furniture in the corner just sitting there, having been touched in 10, 15 years or so, you know, and it's very sad. Stephen Gallucci stopped by 166 Glen Street to tune and play the Cable and Sons piano. I never thought of it as a trade. I never thought of it as something I was going to do when I get older or something like that. It just kind of was just a natural thing that I grew up with and I still have it and it's, it's like breathing or eating to me. It's uh, something that just is always with me. Most pianos of this age need an incredible amount of work. Um, the, the strings are old, the, the uh, pins, they get loose, the pin block dries out. Um, and basically, when all of those issues are there and present, uh, we have, uh, it's, it takes a lot of work. Probably takes, it takes about 100 hours of work to uh, completely restore a piano. Gallucci said the grand piano, built around the 1920s, has the best sound quality of more than a half dozen public pianos in downtown Glens Falls. I'd have to say this is the best one. <laughs> um, it, it has a, a great tone to it, um, has that body of fullness that you're looking for. Uh, it's a very warm, inviting sound. Um, there's not many uh, mechanical or technical issues. This piano has, has a very beautiful crown, actually, in the, uh, the soundboard. Uh, if you could just listen to that. It, it has a lot of body in the harmony of, that, of just that A-flat major chord. Some, some pianos, you don't hear that, um, that resonance, that kind of resonance quality. Is a very warm, pops out at you. You don't have to be a master pianist like Gallucci to try out the Cable and Sons piano. Tim Reed, owner of 166 Glen Street, said he welcomes and encourages impromptu concerts anytime. Reporting for Postar and Postar.com, this is Maury Thompson. <laughs>